Hi everyone. The structure panel in Optima has been designed to help you maintain and organize your analysis, particularly when you have lots of tools and indicators on your chart and they can become a bit cluttered. So um, I highly recommend you go to our knowledge base article, uh, help.optima.com slash KB, search for structure panel and you'll find the article that you can uh, read there for more background information. But I will show you quickly uh, what we mean by the structure panel, how you can find it, and how you can use it in your analysis. So I'm going to just open up a quick chart of Microsoft and throw on a couple of uh, tools. So moving average, I'm going to change the properties, make that a 50, change it to blue, um, and I'm going to put on a second moving average and change that to 20, let's say. And also I'm gonna put on a MACD. So let's say that's, that's the tools I've got. Um, now to open up the structure panel, halfway up the price scale, you'll notice on the right-hand side of the screen, a little arrow tab. So if we click that, that's gonna roll out the structure panel on the right-hand side. And as you can see, this is listing all the tools and um, indicators that we have on the chart, starting at the top with um, uh, Microsoft candlestick chart, and then within what we call separate layers, um, the tools. So I've got two moving averages, and then in, in the separate view, now that a view is a, a panel with, a, uh, with its own price scale. So the MACD is in its own view, and there it's in its own layer there as well. You'll notice that as I mouse over in the structure panel that the tools um, that it is uh, referencing uh, is highlighted in orange. So I've got two moving averages there. When I mouse over the bottom one, that turns orange, and then the other one uh, turns orange as I move up. Now we can rename um, these tools as well in the structure panel so you know which one's which, and you can do that just by double clicking. So I believe this one was the MA20. And then I can double click up there and MA50. Just so you know which, uh, which one's which. One of the main benefits of using the structure panel is the ability to quickly and easily hide temporarily some of the tools and indicators from your chart. Very useful if you want to publish or show clients an a uncluttered chart but you don't want to delete all your analysis, you just want to temporarily hide it. So you can do that in the structure panel. You'll notice that beside each um, item, there is an I icon. Um, so we can click that icon and it's, uh, it's disappeared. So that MA50, that's now hidden from the chart and I can do both of those or I can do the layer and that will automatically hide everything in that um, underneath in that layer. Um, in terms of the view, we can also hide that from uh, uh, the screen as well. So if we click uh, the view icon, um, you'll see it disappears temporarily from the chart. Whereas if I just did the MACD, the actual panel will still be there, um, but uh, which won't make much sense, so we can just use the view. Likewise, we can temporarily hide the actual price chart of Microsoft and just show the, uh, um, the two moving averages. But um, very useful for quickly, um, temporarily hiding some of your tools and indicators. Another icon that you'll notice in the structure panel beside the layer is the little padlock. And by default, it will be open, so that means it's unlocked, meaning that you can um, make changes to the tools or even delete them from the layer. So you'll notice when I mouse over MA50, for example, if I click that cross, that's gonna delete it from the chart. But if I click the padlock and now that's locked, I can't make any changes or accidentally delete anything within that layer. So um, pretty useful um, to, to lock all your favorite tools that you don't wanna change. You can um, um, uh, lock them to, to the chart to prevent any uh, accidental changes. Now we can also use a structured panel to move uh, the various views around the screen. 
So let's say, for example, that you wanted the MACD at the top of the chart instead of underneath the price chart. So what we can do is click our, our mouse and hold it on the view layer and drag that over the top of the very top layer. So now that the, the, the top view becomes the MACD combo, and then the second view is uh, the candlestick chart with the uh, moving average layer underneath. And just like a um, uh, regular indicator, we can click and drag the, uh, um, the bottom of that MACD uh, view to make it smaller or to resize it. And then that's just uh, on the chart as, uh, as a normal indicator. Another example of uh, using the structure panel, I'm gonna put on a RSI. So right click menu, RSI, this is a um, 10 period. I'm gonna change it to 14. And I'm also gonna put on another RSI. I'm just gonna select that from the top of my uh, tool list there. And I'm gonna change this one to a uh, five period. Oop, here we go, five. And I'm gonna change the plot style so the color of the line from the default blue to red and also show in price scale. So we get the value of that five period RSI. So I'm gonna do that to the uh, 14 period RSI as well. I'm gonna um, right click on that to get to the properties and show in price scale. But now what we can do to um, save screen space, we can actually drag that five period, so I'm gonna left click on that red RSI, five period RSI. You can see my cursor's changed to a little hand, and I'm literally just gonna drag that over the blue line. Now you'll see in the structure panel that now those two RSIs are in the same view, so they're using the same um, uh, view panel uh, as, as the other one, but you'll notice that this icon, the chain, is broken. That means that they're using different price scales, and you can see that in the example because the horizontal lines are both um, at 30, but they're not overlapping each other. And that's, that's key to remember when you're overlapping or dragging tools over each other. You may um, wanna check that this uh, link icon in the structure panel is whole. So I'm just gonna click that link uh, that chain icon, and you can see now that the horizontal lines in the RSI are overlapping. So that confirms that the two RSI calculations are using exactly the same uh, price scale, so they're um, accurately being reflected on the chart. I'll quickly show you an example where we don't want the price scale locked. So I'm going to delete these two RSIs, and I'm gonna put on volume instead. So what we can do is click and drag volume over the price chart and let go, and now you'll see that um, it's, it's in the same window as Microsoft's price chart. And you can see in the structure panel, the chain icon is broken, and we don't want, we wanna keep it broken because obviously um, they got volume in the millions, will not show on the chart um, and a price of around $68 for Microsoft. So actually we can see the example. Um, the, the chart will just disappear because the price scales are so wildly different. So if we keep that um, unlinked to the price scale, we can roll backwards and forwards and, and everything uh, uh, remains on the chart. So to roll the uh, structure panel away again, we simply click that arrow halfway up the price scale and it's um, hidden from view. So I hope that was useful, a brief overview there of the structure panel and how you can use it. Um, as always, let us know if you have any questions or need any help. Thanks very much.